Hello everyone, welcome back to a new Pokemon opening video. My name is Pascal and we are the Card Collectors. It is only once in a few years that you actually get to open a completely fresh, completely new generation of Pokemon cards. And it's that time again, yes. As you might have heard, uh, Pokemon Sword, Pokemon Shield, the eighth generation of Pokemon, the TCG has been launched uh, last week in Japan. And uh, now, almost one week later, we already managed to get a couple of boxes into Switzerland. I'm super excited about that, to have them here. And of course, I asked you guys on uh, Instagram, which box do you want to see us open first? Is it going to be sword or is it going to be shield? So let's quickly check out how you answered um, Instagram card collectors. Here you go. And then the story here. And it is Padam. Which box first? So let's go with sword. Oh, hello, you two. All right. <laughs> Sword. Sword it is. That means uh, today I am uh, super excited to open a box of Pokemon Sword with you. Freshly from Japan, as I said, this is how it looks. For reference, this will be Pokemon Shield, the second base set or the alternate base set. Just the other box, which we're gonna do definitely very soon in a second video. But then, well, the call stands for today. We're gonna have a first look at Pokemon Sword together, the Japanese variant of the base set. And uh, it comes, of course, uh, with Zacian. We have the new V cards, which I'm super excited about to see, the new GX, if you so want. We have V Max cards, which we'll be hunting as well. Let's just quickly, before we dig into it, have a closer look at the box art uh, sword 1w for uh, s1 sword and shield 1w w for sword then we have some starters and some galarian pokemon here the other side here's uh, more uh, starters like sobble and then some known faces as well the back side looks like this and i am so ready to dig into that with you it's um been uh, quite some time since we've uh, cracked into a, a new generation. The last one, as you know, of course, was Pokemon Sun and Moon, which was 2000, around 2016, right? So three years it took us to go through the Sun and Moon era to get to the Sword and Shield era. And here we are launching it all with some gorgeous new artworks, I would hope. Let's uh, dig into the box. As always, it opens that way. And then you can just put this around here and make a nice display out of it. Palm, let's do that. Let's keep this box here. Let's keep shield a bit on the side. And then, and then look at what goodness awaits us here. Wow. Look at that colors. Look at that Pokemon, the legendary Zacian. This is how a pack art looks like. Always included five cards. That's the set, that's the front, and that's the back. Nice. So we got 30 of these boosters. Look at the artwork. Look at that brilliant blue here. Truly gorgeous. And we have 30 boosters to look into. So after we just take one more glimpse at their beauty and wholeness here, look at that. 30 Japanese boosters that we can get, go together, go through together. Here they are. And I'll quickly open them all uh, with my trusted scissors, just so that we can proceed faster afterwards. I'll see you right after the snap. Welcome back, here we are 30 packs later. I have before me 30 packs uh, times five cards, 150 cards we can go through together right now. But before we do that, uh, in case you were wondering what kind of awesome outfit is Pascal wearing today? Well, um, I hope you can take a good look at that because that's my new school bunny outfit. Um, that's, uh, that's correct. Um, 
apparently I do have the best card collecting friends in the whole world and uh, from the elusive uh, Pokemon Center in uh, London which was only open for two weeks we had our we had some uh, card collecting friends there uh, Selena and Dario and they brought me back for my birthday which was in November this one super nice jacket uh, now we got the uh, the Grookey, uh, the Sobble, and the Scorbunny gang complete. So thanks again for that awesome outfit, which I have to wear today as my Galar starter um, for this start into Galar. So without further ado, we'll go through these boosters in no particular order, uh, but I'm extremely excited to see what we have in there. And as always, the card trick stays the same. One card goes from the back to the front, so we get the rare at the last spot. So here we already have one of our new Pokemon. It's Sizzlipede. No, it's not. It's Sentiscorch. That's the evolution of Sizzlipede. Sentiscorch is here and uh, an amazing fire Pokemon. We have um, this cute little critter here, um, Pinchurchin or something like that. Yeah. Definitely, and then, well, some, some familiar faces. I'm not gonna take too much time because we have so many cards to go through, but just a new artwork. Sometimes we'll just quickly stop and glance at the cool new artwork. Let me get my lamp adjusted here so it can get a little brighter. That's perfect. Well, here you are. That will be, what's that, dark type? Is that new? Yeah, that's Nicket in dark type, beautiful. And of course, trainer card with this one being the evolution incense, fun as it is. All right, to the side, you cards. So, sorry for slow rolling this, but uh, this is the first time I see those new Pokemon. Here we have Graplocked, wow. Look at the artwork, so, uh, so detailed. And then Ball Toy, we have, oh, look at that. Team Grookey represent. Here is our starter. It's a little different from the cards we got as promos, but these are the set cards of Sword, uh, Sword and Shield 1. Sword. All right, we're moving on and we have a uh, air balloon. All right, so booster one, booster two. We saw some familiar faces, some new ones as well. Let's continue, this is exciting. We got uh, Thwacky, Grookey's evolution here, and then Kingler, and oh, uh, what's that, what was that one called? It's a Sinisty, Sinisty, right? Sinister T, Sinisty. Ah, oh, look at her. <laughs> is it true or is it fake? All right. Oh, no. Okay. Wow. Did you see that? Okay. This is the one I was talking about. We have some new V cards and this is the first V card I'm ever pulling from any set. I'm so excited about this. And it, it's, an, it's, not, it's not a bad one, by the way. It's a Cramorant V. Let's quickly take a look at the, how amazing those V cards are. So instead of GX, we, we still get GXs, right? I'm not quite sure, do we still get GXs in this set? I would hope so, but uh, anyway, the new big thing are V-cards, and for good reason. Okay, the longer I look at it, the more awesome it gets. It is slightly embossed. I think it's, it's kind of like GX cards, so there's no structure on it, but I totally dig the black border. I love the hollow pattern here. Look at the, look at the V. How mean does that gleam? Wow, all right, so this is the Pikachu eating Cramorant and it's our first V-card. And of course, on the back, they look like the Japanese always do, awesome and flawless. All right, that's our first V-card and I'm excited we pulled that. Uh, so this one goes to the side here to our trusted uh, shiny Rayquaza. And we're moving on. Let's get us up to speed here with the trainer cards and Pokemon, oh. Who doesn't love them? This would be Pharaoh Seed in uh, one of the Yuka Mori artworks, which I absolutely adore. We have a, uh, the fun thing is, uh, it's pseudo Wudo, but it's called Mogelbaum in Germany. Mogelbaum, because a baum and fake, fake tree. And it is uh, a fighting type Pokemon here. But... All right, next card is our first holo card of the bunch, and it's a Gengar. Gengar is here and uh, Gengar looks super great uh, with that new holo pattern. I don't, I'm not sure if you can see that, but the holo pattern actually goes through the whole card from top to back, uh, from, from top to bottom. And um, 
it has that rainbow pattern and uh, some thin lines as well. It reminds me a little bit of the black and white era. So that would be uh, considered half a pull, but it's a cool card as well. So I'm happy to see uh, the holo cards back and I'm also happy to see the new V cards. Up next, oh, that, that's a fun one. Let me quickly check, that's a uh, Lumberry. The Lumberry is here. And then we have Meowth in its Galarian form. All right, more nice cards. Also a new face, uh, that's Maractus. Uh, hope you all caught it in the game already. And then we have a generation five or six Pokemon with Chinchino. Thank you very much. The next pack, please. All right, let's see what we have here. I Oh, our Air Taxi in their different form. Oh, this is adorable. Okay, so uh, one of the early designs that leaked uh, or, or was presented of Sword and Shield, it's Yamper, Yamper, and then it's uh, Evolution Boltund, both very fun Pokemon, but this one might advance to be a crowd favorite. Then we have, as mentioned, Sizzlipede here, and oh, cool, yeah, that's a real badass card and I like it. So this is a Galarian, Perserker, so uh, it would be Meowth plus one. <laughs> okay, look at him. How does he look? Crazy. What an action-filled card, and it's also a holo that makes it our second holo of the box. Let me continue here. All right, fishing rod. Oh, get that out of the way. Uh -huh. Get our cards sorted here, all of them new and fresh. So I want to take good care of them, Parasite again, and then our um, some other cards that we might have seen before or not. Say stop or comment if you want to take a, a, a closer look at it. These are the 60 new cards, 60 I believe, right? 60 new cards of Pokemon Sword. A trap, eh, here's Yamber. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay, okay, that was unexpected. That's unexpected. Do you see what we just pulled there? It's a V-Max card, and uh, this is Stonejourner. How is it? Uh, Stonejourner? It's uh, a, a fight and rock type Pokemon. It is basically very British. Oh. Okay, I don't want to talk too much. I just want to soak in this moment. This is the first VMAX card we pulled. This is basically Stonehenge as a Pokemon, which is awesome in itself. But the other awesome part is the structure is just amazing. And it reminds me a lot of those XY series um, structures on the Pokemon cards, which were just a little finer than uh, they used to be in Sun and Moon. Amazing card anyway, and uh, our first VMAX, and it's super original, so I'm super happy about that. That is our next poll, and uh, with that luck, well, we'll see some very, very nice cards today. Let's continue with our next booster. We have some familiar cards, we have some new cards as well. I still loll about that one. Oh, and here is another one. This is Thwacky, right? Thwacky the, no, Rillaboom, Rillaboom. Sorry about that. This is Rillaboom, the third, the second evolution of, uh, of Grookey. The final evolution, if you so want. Really cool card, and it comes as a holo. Nice, that's our next pull. All right, let's continue with that. So let's see what else we can pull from this sword set. We have a stone, which is uh, the giant charm, giant charm, right? And then um, some old and new Pokemon and uh, our T Sinistee evolution, which is called Poltegeist, Poltegeist from the German expression, Poltegeist. All right. Let's look into what else we can find. Anything else we'd want to see besides the air balloons? Um, oh, Minchinos and... Uh, oh, yes, please. Boltund. Boltund, uh, the evolution of Yamper as a holo card. Look at him. How happy he is chasing leaves in the storm. Maybe. Very nice card. I really like the, the new holos. I, I like them a lot. Continuing on with... A, a trainer card of, um, ah, that's a very, Beady, Bade. Okay, cool. And then, and then turning around. Oh, is there a cameo here? 
well, just some scared people here in the background. Uh, centipedes and, oh, here is another evolution. Do, have you seen that? Who went for Subble? Because after Subble and Drizzile comes Intilion. Intilion, Intel, Eon, please help, please comment. Um, Anyway, very cool card, very cool colors, and uh, the Pokemon itself, I think also very cool. Cool all in all, and cool blue. We're continuing on marching through that box. By the way, the next video, the shield one will be in German. German because we're based in Switzerland. And uh, it's one of our national languages here the most widely spoken national language in Switzerland. So that's why from time to time we like to do videos in our um, mother tongue as well. Okay. Okay, I was again not prepared for that because this is it. This is the hyper rare card. Look at this card, look at it. It's not only V Max, it's also rainbow rare and it has, oh, Gosh, that's a good looking damn card. The rainbow is different from the rainbows in the XY area. Uh, no, from the, the, the sun and moon era, of course. Holy moly, that is one card. That totally made the box. Okay, also pristine condition back and front. It has, can you hear that, a slight texture here? It's slightly differently textured here on these, um, parts of the card than here but it's sparkly as a Christmas morning holy moly VMAX 330 HP this is the card this is the card we've been looking for and we found it stone journer VMAX wow what a card I must say these VMAX cards especially the Japanese ones I don't know how the English ones are gonna be but these are some cards and we're getting our next Holo rare card. Wow, that took me by surprise. I know there's always one secret rare per, per box. You never know what you can, what you get. Sometimes it's a trainer, sometimes it's uh, something else. But this one is a really, really, really cool card to pull. We'll, we'll see it again in the recap. For now, I just want to continue and open up the rest of the set with you. Go through sword so we can uh, say been there, done that, seen sword, and moving on to shield. But first, I think we have a couple more. Oh, a couple more pulls. Of course we do. And here's the set's mascot. It's uh, uh, Zacia. Z Sasian or Zacian? How do you pronounce it where you live? Please tell me. I'm um, a bit stuck here. Um, it seems, but what we're all what we all can agree on this is a amazing V card. Uh, the set mascot is absolutely gorgeous. What a cool card! Couldn't ask for more. I'm super happy we pulled this. It's not cheap either. It sells for uh, quite some money in Japan if you can pull this. One beautiful card and one hell of a legendary Pokemon. Wow, this box has been treating us really well so far. Let's see what else we can pull from this set. Maybe, maybe not. And here's our next V card, yay! And this time it's Delmi's, Delmi's V. And holy am I digging these artworks. Okay, this is Look at that, that's a V card and, and you want it, definitely. You'll want all the V cards because holy, the attention to detail. Look, there's uh, this rainbow shine from the holo pattern. There's uh, all the information, is, it's just, it reminds me a little bit of uh, the, the half art cards from X and Y, which were beautiful as well. Look at that art. It's Eske uh, Yashinobu. I have never heard of that artist before, but that is a cool looking card and I'm super happy to add that to my selection of V cards. Hopefully growing, hopefully we'll see some more, but this is a really, really cool concept. Wow, finally we, we got V cards. Are you excited as we are? Let me know in the comments, uh, which V card are you looking forward to? And uh, I remember it's been not too long since we started talking about V cards. Uh, I think it was rather new, just a couple months ago announced that V cards will be the new chase cards. Uh, that's even before the max cards were announced. 
All right, so we got our Galar bike. Got some more known faces, and we're doubling up on, um, uh, help me, uh, Boltund. Great, Holo, you can never have enough of them. Never too many, so I'm happy about that. And um, off we go, last third. Here's Gurki again, and then, oh yes, that's the card I actually wanted to pull. That's the card I wanted to pull. I've been looking forward to that. That's Lapras V. And I mean, look at that amazing artwork. This also is one of the cards that I think everyone should have in their collection because it's so gorgeous. It's a slightly, slightly hollow, of course, but then uh, you got the, the nice waves here in the background. Sun is shining with the halo here. Uh, the lens flare effect drawn by Hazuno. This is one of the cards that really make the set. Wow, beautiful V card. And I'm so happy to go through this with you together. Thanks for taking the time. Thanks for uh, hanging in there. There's so much to see, so much to discover here in this set. And I'm so excited to do it with you. All right, so let's uh, move up the speed a little bit. We've been drooling up, uh, over these cards way too long already. Uh, but hey, um, it's not, as I said, it's not every year that you can dig into a completely new set with new cards. I mean, the jump from, from EX to GX and then to Tech Team was big, but V and V Max is just completely new league. And you'll want these cards, that's just for sure. All right, we got our first holo trainer and the lady is called, uh, what is it? It's just a uh, professor's research, actually the card. I'll find out what her name is or you can comment it down in the comment section. Um, four and one. Let's see if we can get one more pull, but uh, hey, so far this box has been so good to us. Oh yes, again, oh, Rillaboom. All right, doubling up. Okay, I'm down to two booster packs for this box. And wow, it's been a ride. So let's take a look at the two last booster packs here. And um, this one is a trainer. And that one is going to be... Oh, we haven't seen that one yet. That's a new one. That's cool. And uh, just one more time. Look at the detail on that card. Don't you feel flowery right now? Okay, we're finishing off with an air balloon, which is uh, fine, I guess. Uh, I feel floaty right now. I just uh, wanna float. Oh, by the way, that's the promo card. Promo number 001 of the new Sword and Shield. You can get it in Japan, in Pokemon stores, and also on our web shop in Switzerland here. All right, let's quickly do a recap, uh, just because it's worth it. I don't want to take too much time here, but this is totally worth it. So let's start with the holo cards we've seen today. New holo pattern with sword and shield, and I can't say I don't like it. I really dig it. They are nice, they are cool, and they sure do look the part. And then we're moving on to V cards. The V cards are amazing. And I just love how the Pokemon artworks are embedded in there. These are some huge Pokemon, three of them. And of course, our Lapras. Then we're moving on to VMAX cards, which are just amazing. We've got Stone Journey here and Stone Journey VMAX. And just uh, with that splitter, uh, with that uh, sprinkle and glitter, I'm saying goodbye to you for now. Thank you very much uh, for going through this first box myth. Thanks for everyone who voted on what you wanted to do to see first. Logical choice, first sword, then shield. I'll see you uh, very soon. I'll see you again very soon for uh, the second pack. Don't know if uh, who's gonna open it, but uh, we'll see, I guess, on this channel. And uh, thank you very much. Have a wonderful evening and I see you in the next video. Bye.